Hey guys, it's Extreme Family Man here. I just kind of want to show you what this looks like once it's clean thoroughly. And all your grout joints are in. And of course, now we got the toilet. And we grouted that in. See my grout joint down in there? It's super small and tight. Don't want a big grout joint. I want everything to be meticulous. <coughs> Same with the floor, all that, let me see if I can focus a little bit, all that grout really came through the back wall, I know it's hard to see, I'm trying to do the best I can, and then obviously the seat, still got this wall to grout. And then up under here to do even the tile up under there still has to be done. Uh, yeah, and like I was trying to show you guys, you go up to the ceiling, you tape it. Let's see if I can clear that up. Tape it, you get a straight line. And tape line should look like. That, I mean, just a sixteenth of an inch. Sixteenth of an inch of space. I'm trying to give you a better view. Like that, so you get a flat line on the ceiling. Alright guys, I'm going to go change out another toilet <clears throat> before I get back into grouting. So, uh, maybe I'll, uh, try and record uh, maybe I'll try and record while I finish grouting that wall so you can kind of see what we're looking at with grouting um, like I said when you grout you want to grout your joints let them set 15 to 20 minutes I always sponge as I'm grouting just to get any heavy off but they don't try to rub the joints the grout joints themselves um, and then after 15 to 20 minutes, you want to come back and clean all your grout joints and make sure that you got your lines perfect so you can see the tile edges and you don't have big grout joints blowing out of the, I mean, they should be recessed in just a little bit so that you can see the edge of the tile perfectly. You don't want it sticking way out and covering up any parts of the tile. So... All right, guys. Maybe uh, when I get back to grout, and I'll try and record it. Hey, guys. It's Extreme Family Man here again. Um, I said in my last video that I was going to change a toilet out. Um, if you remember in the bathroom that I've been working on, um, where the toilet was, I put a flange, a metal flange on it, because I said that the plastic PVC ends up breaking over time. And then your toilet leaks. That's what ends up happening. See that? That's your hookup. They end up breaking. And then it leaks water down in. I don't know if you can see that. And it leaks water down in and around. Because it's not held tight to the uh, wax ring that goes on there. Once that breaks, the toilet shifts. The wax ring opens up and it starts leaking. So, like I said, anytime you're doing a toilet replacement, I always recommend putting in one of the metal flanges. Tap con it down. Um, I'm probably going to have to put one here and move forward. Okay, extreme family man back. So we tap con this plate down. I had to cut out the tile a little bit. And then tap con this thing down. Uh, so, yeah. That's what you want to do if you have a cracked uh, plate that the toilet bolts down onto the PVC cracks. You want to put a new plate in. Uh, yeah, go ahead and set this toilet. Let's see if I can get this on camera. Put 
So, I always like to go with the extra thick. If you can see that. Extra thick wax ring seal. Uh, they make sure that they seal really good. No issues with them. You don't want to rip this stuff off. I usually do like little pull down tabs. Wherever it'll let you. And open it up. Flip it over. Make sure you're down in the seat. And kind of just pop this guy off without touching it. Make sure you're down in the seat. I highly recommend you don't touch this stuff. It's a pain in the butt to get off of you. if I'm going to have to shin this. Let me scrape this off and that looks like it's going to hold my toilet up. I bought one of these Purdy multi-tools and I use it on everything. It works great. Scraping grout, moving tile, whatever you need to do. I mean, you can get it in there and push your tile around with it. And as you can see, oh, if you don't hit the lock, like I said, take the hammer, Smooth that off to the tile line. See that? We'll do the same back here. <clears throat> I might have to shim this toilet a little bit and then uh, caulk it to make sure it fits right. Press it down, make sure she's seated in there good, straighten her up. Okay, I gotta grab my bolt kit. Kit they gave me with this the bolts. So the way I like to do this is put these little plastic dealies down. You're really supposed to use them when you're when you're putting the ones with the movable bolts, like these. You want to put them. It kind of holds it snug and tight in place. And then on these things, these locking caps. The little height spot goes down and this lip rounded lip goes up 
So we're going to put them on. And then we're going to put the washers on top. And then our nuts. I believe these are probably going to be alright so I want to get back with you guys and kind of show you I just sponged everything now it's got like this haze on the wall so what you're going to do is use a real damp towel and then a nice buffing towel and you're going to rinse that and buff it hey, Jimmy. wish I had Jimmy here you don't have to worry about it. You can buff it. If they got a buff all the time, don't got Jimmy here, I wouldn't have to worry about it. You can buff it all for them. What I'm going to do is use a very lightly damp towel or a rag, sponge, whatever you prefer. Make sure you get your lines real good. Any spots that look like they might be a little too full, flip the sponge over and scrub them down in. Make sure you get them nice. And you're going to come back with your other towel. And then just buff it out. And that's what you're looking for. And you're low imperfections off in about 25, 30 minutes. Remember, it's not a bad idea to use multiple towels as your towel starts to get built up on there. You're going to want to use another towel. Remember what I was saying about the joint lines? You want to scrub those joint lines too. Like, I don't know if you can see that. Or even right here, there's a little bit of grout that's above the tile so I'm just going to go lengthwise and kind of level that down in make sure it looks great and you have a straight line on there and then I'll just buff it out you grab another towel another clean towel you want the shine to come back to the tile that's how you'll know everything's gone because the shine will come right back to the tile. And I'll have that pretty shine. Gosh, sometimes I wish I was taller. And that's what you're looking for, guys. Just like that. spot that's kind of murky that you guys can see like here it's a little murky now if you see that do you want to buff that until that tile is drying smooth once it's drying smooth and it's pretty and shiny again then you'll be right where you need to be about 10 minutes ago and uh, just kind of sponged everything just to get the heavy parts off of grout so 
that I wouldn't have a total mess to clean up. If you remember, 20 minutes after, the grout is still able to be scrubbed if you have to. It's not just going to pop right out and ruin your pretty job if you wait. If you do it early, you're going to end up re-grouting everything because it's going to, you're going to end up scrubbing the grout right out of the joint. We don't want that. Like I said, if you come back in and your joints aren't perfect, just use the scrubby side of the sponge. Put that in the joint and give it a little rub down until it looks right the way you want it to look. So you got a straight edge line on the tile instead of a little bit of a grout sticking off. You want your grout joints to be a perfect line. You don't want it to be heavy and skinny and you want it to show the reveal of that edge of that tile beautifully. That's the point of this. Takes a little work, it's a little tedious, but in the end it's worth it. And then of course you don't have to do it again because it's done. Once you've finished, that's it. Well, let's just say you do. Okay, so I accidentally left my mess on here till the next day. It'll still come off. And if it doesn't want to come off for you, vinegar. Get some distilled vinegar or white vinegar, and that'll take your grout off the tile. If you forget about it and you know you come back and you go, oh, I forgot to clean my tile. A little bit of vinegar will pop it right off. I know you can't see me, I'm just kind of wiping the floors. Wiping all my lower tiles. Just kind of getting everything pretty and in nice. So grout here and there that got on things. Don't freak out. Don't panic. It'll come off. And like I said, if you can't get it off and you're having a problem, use a little vinegar. Vinegar will wash it off. If you're having an issue. Or if you 
did it late and you fell asleep and you got stuff that you needed to get off the wall and just come back the next day and use a little bit of vinegar and you'll be able to wash it all off. Alright guys, I'm going to get back at it. You can see that sheen there and in some spots it's not so shiny. That's the areas you want to work and get all that, all that grout off. You know, clean your metal. See that little bit right there on the metal? Just gonna rub that off like that. Now you got a clean edge, just like that side. If you can see that. Nope. Nice clean edge where the schluter ends. So the schluter, you want the schluter to be pretty too. Ugh. You want the schluter to be shiny and pretty. You don't want to leave that grout on there. Um, I still got up under here to do. To polish, wipe down and clean up. And you can see the haze on there. Let me see if I can show you. Wipe that. You can see now, it's nice and shiny. And then you can see where I haven't done right here. See the difference? So when you polish it, like this. Gets it all off. So yeah, uh, after you're all done, make sure you polish your tiles. As you can see I still got some there. See it on my finger? Just make sure you got all the dust off and uh, everything looks the way you want. Um, if you notice as you're cleaning everything that you you know didn't get a grout joint filled enough, don't worry about it. Come back, add a little more grout, and then do the same process again. Just make sure you get it filled the way you want it the second time. Um, and then, uh, yeah, grout's pretty forgiving. All right, guys, signing off.